What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and I am hard. Hardly able to contain myself, this is episode 269 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup, and we've got some sexy setups today. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. I've held it this far without busting. <laughs> Damn it. Let's check it out. Busting like, you know, busting out my laughter, but you get it, you get it. First up today, we have the laminate with a nice dual monitor setup here, highlighted by a really nice light color theme going on. Really digging the, you know, more pastel sort of earthy tones he has to the setup, as well as that big custom decal right behind the monitors. Just kind of complete the room a bit and sort of add to the overall theme. That pattern is a really nice matching contrast with the darker walls on each side of the room. So checking out his gear for his two monitors, his main display is an Alienware 34 inch 120 hertz display. It's a very popular AW3420DW model with a 27 inch BenQ monitor on the left side in the vertical orientation. For his peripherals, a super sexy setup down here as well with a custom Tofu 84 keyboard. He has Gateron Black V2 switches inside that are lubed. Really nice looking configuration going on there. With a white Logitech G Pro X Super Light mouse on an Artisan Heian FX soft mouse pad. And then for audio, the Focal Elysia. Man, oh man, they're plugged into a shit stack with the Mahdi 3E and the Magni 3 Plus. You can also see in the back is an Elgato Stream Deck. Then also for audio, mounted above his setup on the wall there are his speakers, the Edifier R1280DBS. The gear on this setup is just out of control, really loving those nice Lego Porsche models. Well, one's a Porsche, other's a DeLorean. Great use of that Kia Scottis board. The aesthetic here is just so on point with this setup. Now over to the PC. This is a Leon Lee PC-011 dynamic case. Inside is an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X CPU with a Leon Lee Galahad 360 AIO, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on an MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk motherboard with an MSI RTX 3080 Ti Ventus graphics card. Again, a great looking build, all black and white, matching the peripherals, all black and white, as well as those accents all across the room. This is just looking phenomenal. Phenomenal. I am loving everything about this one. And he also has a little mini laptop display going on over on the right side. This is a Gigabyte Aorus G15XC laptop. Inside is an i7 10870H CPU with a Gigabyte RTX 3070 for graphics. And hooked up over here is a Keychron K2 Wireless V2 with Logitech G305 Lightspeed mouse. So, Delaminate, I apologize if I'm butchering the pronunciation of your name, but you did not butcher this setup. Your wallet might be butchered with the crazy, just phenomenal choice of gear all across the board here, but that's okay. Well worth it, right? Now, next up, we've got Easy 89 and this setup is just so unique in the sense that a lot of the way this came together, it's mostly DIY stuff. That is a custom pine desk. The entire PC is made in this DIY copper case pretty much open frame we'll get into all that obviously coming up but i love the look of this room the decor it's dark it's moody it's earthy this is just fantastic my only criticism though i would say is the the wallpaper doesn't really match the setup theme but that, that's okay so for that display, it is a 27 inch LG Ultra Gear model, the 27GP850. Mounted on each side of that are the Personas Aris E3.5. And down to its peripherals, there's the Razer Huntsman Mini with the Razer Viper Ultimate Mouse on a BenQ Zowie G mouse pad. So desktop in terms of peripherals, pretty simplified, right? Not a lot of other stuff going on in terms of gear and hardware because obviously he wants the main focal point here to be that custom PC. That's really what's stealing the entire show here along with just the decor of the room because that's what all ties it together. It's literally one with the room. Got the fake ivy kind of going down being intertwined with the copper case, the wooden desk, the wooden shelves, the art on the wall. It is such just, it's just gorgeous. It really is. 
This custom copper open frame is all DIY, which definitely helps accentuate the custom water cooling is going on as well. So inside this builds an AMD Ryzen 5 3600X with an MSI Tomahawk Max motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB RAM with a KFA2 RTX 2070 Super GPU. We have a Bisky Freeze Mod CPU block, and the pump is from Corsair, it's the Hydro X. But man, it is just absolutely, probably one of the most unique builds I've seen in a while in terms of just really going all out and making it DIY like this. Like I said, it's the focal point of the entire room and the setup. The desk itself, nice and simple. Got just the requirements for your peripherals, right? One monitor, but it all ties back to that copper build. Easy, man. I'm sure this wasn't easy, but it is sexy. Now, next we've got Threx. And as you guys can tell, we are not pumping the brakes at all. Crazy nice triple monitor setup, gloriously spanned wallpaper here, and a ton of Nanoleaf light panels, the Nanoleaf lines, and a ton of money went into that, as you can imagine. But hot damn, this is sexy. And check out the ceiling. Bet you didn't see that coming. Got that whole Starry Night vibe. It is just, this is a wildly crazy awesome setup by Threx. Man, all right. So for those three monitors, another 27 inch LG Ultra Gear panel, 4K, 165 Hertz, one millisecond response time. He's got three of them. That's some serious screen real estate for gaming. They are mounted and aligned perfectly. Then down to the peripherals, we have a Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard, the Razer Viper Ultimate mouse, of course, on a Razer Goliathus extended chroma mouse pad, an Elgato Stream Deck right above that, and for his speakers, we have the Razer Nomo Chroma. Man, pretty much all Razer despite the Elgato Stream Deck. This again, another setup that pretty much keeps the clutter down to a minimum and only has the essentials, and I love seeing that. Now, over to the PC. Another Leon Lee PC-011 dynamic case, and this is actually, guess what? It's the Razer edition here. Inside's an Intel i9-9900K CPU with an NZXT Kraken X72 AIO, 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, on the Asus ROG Strix Maximus 11 Hero motherboard, and the Asus ROG Strix RTX 3090 for the graphics card. Definitely a powerful build. All the RGB in here is synced to purple as well to match the rest of the setup. You gotta love when it matches just all around the room here. And speaking of all around the room, mounted right behind that, it's got a nice TV to kick back and get some console gaming done. He didn't really provide any info on the TV. It probably looks around like a 55 inch or bigger. But check out the coffee table that folds out as a little mini fridge and the Oreos is what got me here. I mean, if you weren't sold already by the setup, the, the Oreos will suck you in, right? If that makes me a boomer, then I'm fine with it. But this is just wild. All those Nanoleaf light panels, the Nanoleaf lines with that extra accent on the outside, the crazy RGB ceiling with the starry night effect going on. This is just an absolutely wild setup by Threx here. Man, this is phenomenal. 20 out of 10 rating here. Now, next up is Haku. And this one just pops out to me and sticks out so much more than a typical setup would, and I don't know what it is. Perhaps it's the symmetry and just the way the whole setup is laid out. I love the addition of all that shelving above the monitors with all those binders and just the organization there. The all white with the pops of green and the plants on each side. It's a really nicely laid out room. And the kid in me is also pumped that there's a spiral staircase here. I feel like everyone loves a spiral staircase, right? And he's got one here. Check out the green sofa as well, matching the plants. It's just this really cool nook he has going on for whatever, gaming, music production. It's a great setup. Anyways, checking out the gear now. For those two monitors, you guys know I love me the stacked orientation. They are both LG 34-inch ultrawides. And up top is a BenQ screen bar. Down for the peripherals, you have an Idabao ID87 keyboard. Loving the light green keycaps on here with the wrist rest as a nice accent as well. With Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. For some gear right up top on that shelf, you have a Loop Deck Plus, the Elgato Stream Deck. And he's also using the Astro Mixamp Pro TR to control his headset, which is not Astro, but the Logitech G Pro X. 
but also for audio on each side of the monitors are two different speakers mounted horizontally we have the yamaha nx n500 with the audio engine a2 plus they're the white small ones on each side of the monitor as well and i really like that 3d sound absorption panel again both on each side which is what i hit on before with the symmetry here it's so so well done now if you're curious about where the pc is it's actually mounted underneath the desk this is an omen hp 25l inside an intel i7 10700 f cpu 16 gigs of hyperx fury ram and i'm not sure what the actual gpu model but it's a gtx 1660 super so haku here with a gorgeous setup i love all you got going on here man this looks so so nice really digging the transformation and what you did with this room to bring it to life and then lastly today is gen x here this a nice and concise setup which seems to be a part of like a couple setup with another one to the left side of the room there but i'm really digging the all black and white matching aesthetic with the wooden accents here with the desk in that custom front panel on his pc which of course we'll check out coming up in a minute. So for the single display here, it's a Gigabyte 32 inch, the M32Q. And right below that is actually a 15 inch monitor from Lenovo. It's the ThinkVision M15. So two monitors, obviously the primary is a Gigabyte, but nice having that second reference screen down here as well. Down to his peripherals, we have the SteelSeries Apex M750 TKL, paired with the SteelSeries Rival 600 mouse and the SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless headset. And that crazy numpad looking thing is actually something I showed off before in the channel. That's the Azeron Cyborg. It is a crazy gamepad here. Just, it's unreal. It's as crazy as it looks. But again, all black and white, loving the matching here. And as you probably saw for audio, his speakers he actually has mounted on each side of the monitor. They're the Logitech Z207. Definitely a unique way to have that set up here, but if they're right there at your level, I see nothing wrong with it. But now for the PC, this is the NZXT H500i case. And as I mentioned, we have a custom front panel there. For some extra intake, he actually made his own bamboo panel, again, to help with that wooden accent so it all matches, with this whole pattern drilled into it for that extra front intake. Definitely a creative piece to add to the room. So inside here is an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, cooled by the Noctua NH-U12S Chromax Black Cooler, all Noctua fans inside as well. We have 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on an Asus ROG Strix B550F motherboard with an RTX 3080 Founders GPU. Some white braided cables inside as well, again, to match it to that all black and white theme. And like I said, this is obviously part of a couple setup here at this massive desk, with this being on the right side here. A great use of the space, really. And something little to point out, I really like the wallpaper. It's like that slight 3D geometric print, but it's like a silver pattern on white. So you can only sort of see the gloss in different lighting. I think it's a nice little, you know, accent piece. But yes, all in all, really loving the setup. I do wish we had a, you know, a wide shot of the whole room so we could see both setups, but that's okay. This episode is sponsored by the Corsair K70 Pro Mini Wireless. Their brand new 60% wireless hot swap keyboard, meaning you can swap out the switches to your liking. Compatible with any MX style switch, you can go from clicky, linear, to tactile, the ball's in your court. Plus with a standard bottom row and a built-in 360 degree light strip around the case, you can now customize the wireless keyboard more than ever. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link for you in the description down below for the brand new K70 Pro Mini Wireless. So all right guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 269 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed these sexy setups. Reminder, all the gear and hardware we showed off today we listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out for your own setup. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for coming by.